Temple is down by 50 to UConn women. I would ask who's in the tournament, but they would not never know. What's up? I'm back here in the range. What the hell is that? Welcome to the range. Back here with the sports panel after a good spring break. Your host, Brendan Brown, and here we have Wes Henderson, the Honorable Chris Gallen, J.B. Brown, and Coach Cleveland Spears. Michigan State doing the tournament. And speaking of the NCAA tournament, a lot of action has happened so far and got a lot of action to come. And we're going to start it off with Cleveland Spears. Get up there. Oh, yeah. So we all going to break down a little bracket for us. You know, we're down on our final 16 team. You know, sweet 16, how sweet it is that Michigan State is in it. So now I will start off with that bracket. Now, Northern Iowa upset Kansas. Hate to say it. But their big men is a lot better than our big men. It's going to come down to a game of big men. So I hate to say it. But MSU moves on because of... <laughs> Because mainly of Corey Lucius, I think he'll step up. Almost like he did in that buzzer beater, which he almost bricked, I saw. Now, going down to who they're going to play next, everybody knows I don't like Ohio State. Not only because they're in the Big Ten, but because it's slow Ohio State. But in this matchup against Tennessee, nobody can really stop Evan Turner right now. So I'm looking at a Ohio State in the Michigan State final, which should have been the Big Ten tournament final. But we messed that up. So, and when it comes down to this one, we all know Evan Turner is going to play very well. But also at the same time, Michigan State plays well, but can they do it two games in a row? Highly doubt it. So Ohio State moves on to the Final Four. I hate to say it to count out my boys, but because of the injury to Kalen Lucas, it kind of has to happen. That's all I got to say. What about you, fellas? What do you think? Ohio State. I can't believe I just said that. I'm going to go with Tennessee. Yeah. Huh? I'm going to go with Tennessee. Yeah. Ohio State. Yeah, I, 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 I just had a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I'm, I, like, I like upsets a lot. And, you know, even though they don't have a chance, I'm going to say Northern Iowa. They're going to pull out an upset and go to the Final Four. This man's on drugs, but it's okay because it could be the next George Mason. Breaking down the West region, we have my very own, the Honorable Chris Gap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, before this tournament started, really, during the first five games of the season, I picked who? Butler. Syracuse to win it all. Butler barely won against Murray State. Butler, out of there. Cuse is going. Next, Xavier. Good story for right now. Not going to happen. Kansas State, if the guard plays there, which I know it will be, they're moving on. So, Xavier, they're out of there. KSU, unfortunately, being from Kansas, you will lose as did the other Kansas. <laughs> Mark them off. Hughes is going final four. I picked them in the beginning, and I'm sticking with them. Yeah, I, I can see Kansas State beating Xavier. Butler, I mean, there was a scrap team, but I'm going to Syracuse. So, decent pick. I'm going with Syracuse. I will definitely agree there. Syracuse as well. Over, uh, over Bolter. Definitely. And they will handle Kansas State because I don't think Xavier has a chance of beating Kansas State. But Syracuse will definitely run over the table anyways and go to the Final Four. Go on. This has been your honorable. Yeah, South Regional. All right, we're going to break down the South Region real quick. You know, we're going to enjoy this one. You know, most of the talk has been about up here, but, you know, we got these four teams down here, you know, in the South Region. No one's really looking at them. All right, you know, you got Duke, number one seed. It's pretty good, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty safe pick to go with. 
I will say that they will definitely beat Purdue, the shorthanded Purdue. So we will definitely put Duke on that category right there. Now, next, this is going to be the interesting one right here, in my opinion. Now, Baylor has, has proven that they can handle being in the whole NCAA tournament fact. You know, St. Mary's, on the other hand, not so much, but they do have history of winning. So, But I will still think that Baylor will move on to take on Duke for the South Regional Final. Now, this is where it gets interesting right here. I'm going to take the upset, and another number one seed is going to fall. Duke, scratch him. It's going to be Baylor going to the Final Four, I think, in my opinion. I think that Baylor's athleticism and their height will be too much for Duke to handle. And they're just, John Shire, uh, single, they're just going to run out of gas at the last minute. So that's my winner for the South Regional Final. Baylor Bears going to the NCAA Final Four. Your thoughts, guys? Chris, you're honorable. Picked Baylor to go to the Final Four when he started his bracket. And judging by what my man right here says, I completely agree. Yeah, Brad's gonna have his hands full, so I'm picking Baylor. I'm sorry. I'm going with Duke. I picked him originally, so I gotta stick with it. And on camera, he owes me twelve dollar meal if Baylor goes to the final four. Yep. Yeah. Well, the Bears are definitely gonna do it. We're gonna now break down the East Regional Final with my man JB. Let's see how that's gonna turn out. East side. All right. Now breaking down the Eastern bracket. Uh, first, I'm going to just get this one out of the way. Washington, they've uh, pretty much shocked a lot of people. Uh, but Butler from West Virginia, too much for them, so West Virginia. Now, Cornell has pretty much dominated Temple and Wisconsin, respectively, shooting the long ball. But John Wall and DeMarcus Cousin will be too much for this matchup. But... I'm going to go with West Virginia in the Elite Eight. Hmm. Now, Kentucky, now, Kentucky is a very mature team, but I feel that West Virginia is going to come ready to play. You guys think? I mean, I'm pretty sure you're going to have some kind of disagreement. Speak your mind. Well, you, you know, I really do want to speak my mind right now. Are you outside of your mind, honestly? Yes, I am. I, I don't know. I mean, I know that people like upsets in NCAA tournaments and everything, but that's just too much, to my opinion. I think that uh, Kentucky's going to run away with, with this bracket. Washington, Pac-10, nobody cares about them. You know, throw them out immediately. West Virginia will hand that one easily. But, you know, after winning, beating Washington, I think they'll get overconfident. You know, they'll think, oh, well, we can handle this. Let's go on and get another one. No. Kentucky's going to come in there and they're going to dominate. You know, it's just that, that East region... It's just a few miles from the place where Kentucky plays. You know, I promise you that big Blue Nation fan will be there in that game. And John Wall says that they will thrive off of fans. They'll be there, and Kentucky will win. I was, uh, actually, the place is actually in Syracuse, not too far from Cornell's campus. Yes. So, uh, okay. well, yes. it's going to be a hard ticket yes. for this game right here. That's Cornell's going to thrive off their fans. That's true. But Instead, I don't think that's going to be enough, though. Tony, yeah, it will not be enough. University. Yes. So, well, I'll let your honorable speak here for me. First and foremost, I am the man they call upset Chris. Kentucky, I did have them in my bracket going to the Final Four, really going to the championship game against Syracuse. But you know what now? I'm picking Cornell to upset Kentucky this game. Sorry, Cleveland. Picking Cornell to upset them, and I'm also picking Washington to upset West Virginia which will have Washington versus Cornell, which ultimately Cornell, Final Four. Wow. Cornell in the Final Four? Cornell in the Final Four. Well, that's not going to happen that way. I think uh, the University of Kentucky, not the Kentucky, of, you know, Kentucky University, uh, will, will be Cornell. Cornell's had a good run so far. But there's only room for one Cinderella story, and that can only be Northern Iowa if it does happen. If it does happen. Uh, West Virginia will beat Washington. Washington out the Pac-10. I know they played well, but not going to happen. Now, 
Unlike my friend over here, I pick 